Good day everyone, my name is Maria Konjelska and you are watching Poland Daily Culture. With me in the studio is still Julia Wilde. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. And we are talking about Polish poetry in translation and especially about the master of words and rhymes who was Julian Tuvim. And if he were British or American, he would be world famous, I would say. And since he was Polish and Poland, Polish language, though very beautiful, is limited, I would say elite. His poems are now to the world known, unfortunately. Though I would like you to continue reading a Lokomotiv by Julian Tobin. Numerous wagons she tucks down the track. Iron and steel monsters hitched up to her back, all filled with people and other things too. The first carries cattle, then horses, not few. The third car with corpulent people is filled, eating fat frankfurters, all freshly grilled. The fourth car is packed to the hilt with bananas. The fifth has a cargo of six grand pianos. The sixth wagon carries a cannon of steel with heavy iron girders beneath every wheel. The seventh has tables, oak cupboards with plates, while an elephant bird to giraffes fill. The eighth. The ninth contains nothing but well fattened swine. In the tenth, bags and boxes. How isn't that fine? There must be at least 40 cars in a row. And what they all carry, I simply don't know. And this is a poem which every single Polish child knows by heart, usually in Polish version, of course. So, uh, because uh, parents do read that to the children. And, so, so uh, why is it so exquisite? Why, be, after all, it's just a locomotive? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think that there are many reasons why this uh, poem is so great. And it, actually, it was one of the few that were translated into English r really well. Well, the translation that we are reading here uh, was by Walter Whipple. And I think it's, it's marvelous because uh, Tuvim was, had a great ear and he was a really gifted person when it comes to hearing the sounds of the language. And at the same time, it's worth mentioning that he was also a translator. He translated from Russian, from French, from German and Latin. And so he really uh, could play with the different sounds of different languages. And here he imitates the rhythm and the sounds that uh, are made by a locomotive. And it's so great because you can hear that progressively uh, it becomes faster and faster and you can hear that the, 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 the wheels are rolling and the locomotive is going somewhere. It's, it's great and everybody can hear, I'm, I'm, uh, can hear it. And I'm sure that even if you do not understand Polish, when you hear the Polish version of it, you feel that it's about a locomotive. So I think Neil Gaiman said once that uh, you can, when you listen to poetry in any language, language you don't know, you still very immediately know it's poetry. Yes, that's true. Even though it's usually not, not necessary of rhymes, but you immediately know it's poetry, it's about something. And <clears throat> I would say, even though poetry is totally not pragmatical and law, medicine, engineering, all novel, novel pursuits are, of course, they sustain life and they are necessary to, to everyday life. But, uh, but in poetry, it's very much about like, what we live for, humans' emotions and uh, this essence of being in many ways. That's why we love it, and it's but it's like it, it's uh, it's hard right now to like it how much it costs. I would say, is it lucrative in any way? But uh, also interesting thing about about Tuvim is the fact that he he's right now known as a very well known uh, poem a uh, poet uh, for children literature, but he himself couldn't have children. Yes, that's, that's true. He and his wife, uh, Stefania, adopted uh, a little girl, um, Eva. Yes. And after the war, I think. Yes, it was after the war. 
um, uh, I'm, I, I, yes, yes. So it was after the war, and um, and she also takes care of their um, well uh, heritage. Yes, because they they have. A, I've heard that Stefania was a little bit like a really Jewish woman, uh, so I mean the domineering over him. <laughs> <laughs> probably that's probably true. I have also well, we can see in the photos that she was a real beauty. And he was very much in love with her throughout their life together. Yes, that's true. Uh, and what's interesting about Tuvim as well, about his, about a little bit gossip, but he always let himself to be photographed only one by one side, because on the other half side he had a mark. Yes, he had a birthmark and he was very self-conscious uh, because of it, yes. And probably some people say that it might be the reason why he had to repeat the sixth grade, because he wasn't a very diligent student, but m maybe he was bullied and he didn't feel very well at school. Simply. Well, definitely he wasn't dumb. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, could we hear the ending of La Camate? Keep up your tempo, now push along, push along, chug along, tag along, tag along, chug along. Lightly and sprightly she carries her freight, like a ping pong ball bouncing without any weight. Not heavy equipment exhausted to death, but a little tin toy, just a light puff of breath. Of wither, of wither, you tell me I trust. What is it, what is it that gives you your thrust? What gives you momentum to roll down the track? It's hot steam that gives me my clickety clack. Hot steam from the boiler through tubes to the pistons, the pistons then push at the wheels from short distance. They drive and they push and the train starts to swishing cause steam in the pistons keeps pushing and pushing. The wheels starting rattling, clattering, chattering. Tag along, tag along, tag along, tag along. <laughs> the beauty of a machine as well. Yes, exactly. So it's also the, the you can see that he was really, I mean, Tovim was really fascinated by the future, the machine, the city, the, um, the engineering, the, the, the language that was also quite scientific. Even here you can see the explanation how the locomotive works. Right. And yeah. every children learn it from the very yes. beginning. Yes, yes. So to you, thank you very much for listening to the Lakamotiv. And if you would like to read the full version, go online and check it both in Polish or English, if you are able, of course. And thank you very much for watching Poland Daily Culture.